Exact measurements are extremely important, especially when measuring chemicals. When working with bleach, precise measurements are critical to ensure the desired results are achieved. This will explain ratios for bleach and how to get them. For every developer in bleach, there are instructions on how to mix the both of them together. It will oftentimes say on the back of the bleach powder packet that in order to mix the correct amount of powder to the correct amount of developer, you will mix one pack of the powder to a certain amount of developer. An easier way to measure how to get these correct amounts without using the whole packet is to find the ratio. To find a ratio, you will first need to find the two amounts needed. Generally, most bleach packets are one ounce, so that makes for an even amount of the first chemical needed. Now, you want to find out how much developer is needed. For example, the packet might say to mix the one ounce with two ounces of developer. This is actually a one to two ratio. For every one part of powder, you'll need twice as many parts of developer. So this means that you can use any measuring tool desired, as long as you mix in one part of the powder for every two parts of the developer. For certain powders, it might say mix one ounce of powder with one ounce of developer. That is a one to one ratio. All you do is mix equal parts of the developer and bleach powder together. After finding the correct ratio of developer to bleach powder, mixing the two together correctly is very simple and will help you to achieve the desired results when bleaching hair. As a reminder, make sure to mix your bleach in a very well ventilated area and never use metallic tools when mixing your bleach. Always keep track of time when bleaching your hair and never exceed the maximum amount of time recommended. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks!